This is the perfect role for her benevolence, my friends. And yes, I really did spend all those weapon parts, glimmer, and motes of light in order to get it. First, we have the short gaze sight. I would have settled for the long view, but I much prefer the short gaze, and I'm glad I have it. Next is the ambush sight, which is arguably one of the best PvP scopes for a sniper right now. It's just buttery smooth and handles really well. With the release of House of Wolves came this perk, Hidden Hand, which increases target acquisition, aka aim assist. How about we test it out? First we're going to test it without Hidden Hand. As you can see as I wave my reticule over my buddy, the reticule slows down even though I'm holding the joystick at the same angle and speed. Now Hidden Hand is supposed to improve this, but it doesn't make the reticule magnetize to your enemy's head. Now let's see the results once Hidden Hand is unlocked. Okay, there does seem to be a slight improvement. What do you think? Do you think Hidden Hand makes that much of a difference? Leave a comment below. Next up is Snapshot and Unflinching. Now from what I hear and experience, Unflinching doesn't really improve the bouncing of the gun when hit by enemy fire. Planet Destiny did a great test video, so I'll link that below. But now we're going to test out Snapshot. So we're going to test a few of the scopes with and without Snapshot, starting with the Short Gaze. So as you're going to see, aiming down the sights with Snapshot is noticeably faster. Quick scoping is starting to really become a thing now in Destiny just like in Call of Duty. So improving snipers like myself are going to look to Snapshot to help increase our skill. After having used this weapon for some time, the only real complaint that I have is that I can run out of ammo quite frequently, especially being used to Praetis Revenge with Field Scout. So this is more like a trial sniper because of the high impact you could put enemies back down on the revive. So not so much for say Iron Banner going against 6 enemies. So other than the occasional ammo issue, this is the epitome of a PvP sniper. And it was well worth the roll. Acquiring this weapon is relatively simple. See what you want to do is you want to run those Petrovenge bounties every week for all your characters to get those guaranteed treasure keys. Then run a Prison of Elders on any level. I literally got my Herb Benevolence from a level 28 Prison of Elders, so it really doesn't matter. Then after that, it's just a matter of how many motes of light, weapon parts, and glimmer you have. Remember, you can exchange Ascendant or Radiant Material at the tower with the speaker for motes of light and glimmer. As for weapon parts, the best way is just to buy the weapon that Brother Vance is selling. Cartwheel! So what do you guys think? Have I sold you on the Herb Benevolence Sniper? Leave a comment below. Well that's all for today guys, if you enjoyed this video make sure to share, like, and subscribe to my channel for more Destiny content. My name is Chit, and I approve this message.